Hello everyone, it's me Shopper and welcome to another Eternal Evolution video. Today's video I'll be talking about one of the greatest way you can get some free items and not any items but including a limited recruitment card. And today's video I will be talking about the endless battle but if it's your first time to my channel don't forget to be hitting the subscribe button and like the video and turn on notification bell so you don't forget or miss any of my videos. So let's head to the endless battle. Okay, so uh, before I start about the explanation for that one, I want to be mentioning that today there was three new heroes, including one of the heroes from Extremely Special Type, or the SP. That's higher than even the Triple S, to the hero I'm talking about, or that one that have got released. Uh, you can get it by the Astral Mirror and that hero called uh, Kurashia. And that one is Raven Judge, let's say, kind of like an assassin. And to be able to get it from the recruitment, there is a special tab, which is the Astral Mirror event or recruitment. To be able to get this ticket, you can either get it from the store or from the Hell Arena, which is quite nice. And yeah, for me this one he seems really great, more than great hero, especially because it's one of its unique type. Anyways, uh, there is also another triple S hero. We have that uh, Kriti, and he's a damage dealer as well as a tank. So it's mixed between damage and tank at the same time. We have an also uh, Tarish, and he is. Let's say part of a tank, I think. I'm not quite sure. Yep, he is a tank. And yeah, I think both of them mm, quite decent for a late game. I still, I'm still discovering the other heroes, and it's really interesting to be reading about all heroes, you know. At the same time, there is also an event running right now for a couple of weeks that you will be getting extra data ship and that one when you do recruitment in the limited time events or the limited recruitments if you use one ticket you will be getting two tickets for the ship the one that is used for the exchange shop so let's go to the point of this video which is the endless battle that one first of all you don't have any specific number of attempts there is two type of rewards the first one going to be about the ranking well all of them is really related to the ranking but some daily and some for the season we check the ranked we have the total ranking and that one is specifically or it's related to having the total damage you do for all three ones or three bosses in the endless battle we have the lion storm and the next one we have the region of uh Lidar and the last one is Spider King Guardian. I haven't really figured out how to be unlocking that one. I think it should be unlocked after a period of time. I'm not 100% sure. If you know, let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than great if you tell me, of course. Okay, so as I said, you don't have a limited time of uh, challenge attempt for that one. You can just spend a complete day to be challenging it. And what's the point of challenging it more often? Well, there is a point if we check the event mission. There is a daily one by challenging uh, both the lion and the region. That one, one time you get this reward. And also there is an, another tab which is achievement. In here you can be challenging them more time as like let's say a maximum of 15 to be able to get the max reward for each one of them. And also, there is uh, for the spider. Mm, yeah, it's only. F no, it's actually for all of them. Well, uh, you get extra reward by the total of the point you collect on each one of them. And there is also a special coin, the endless battle uh, gacha point, uh, coin. That one, you use it in the raffle shop. And over here, there is two type of reward. The first one, when you do the draws, you get this reward. It's completely random. 
and when you complete three from the same line either this line or that one you will be getting the reward that in the sides as an extra as an example for me i have collected this three and this three so i got this one as an extra and that one right now i'm just missing this one to be able to get this one and after you collect all three of them from both lines you will get six limited recruitments card as completely for free once you complete all the rewards in here which most likely you will be doing after 30 time to earn a bingo jackpot for me i already did 21 so i'm just missing nine to be getting this one it's a granted after you do that number in the bottom like here it says 30 so once i do the 30 i'm granted to be getting all the rewards in here and after that it will be changing to a higher or another floor like that's round one round two it will be unlocked and it's completely with another type of reward yes reward details round two it's oh it's the same okay yep it's the same reward but it changed from round seven well if you look to it it's completely free item you're getting that will be helping you out to boost your heroes which extremely extremely great and also there is an exchange shop for the event itself where you can get a triple s heroes as well you have a limited time of three for each one of them so there is really great things here or great heroes as well as items that will be really great to help you out in the start of the game so that's don't waste your time and just consume or get a good use of this event while it's lasting so that was it for today's video guys i'll see you all in the next one and don't forget to be hitting the subscribe button and take care of yourself i'll see you all in the next one